Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, Matt here with a quick vinyl update. Um, it's just a couple things I've gotten over the last, I guess, week or two. I uh, haven't been buying too much just because um, I just haven't had much extra money in terms of, uh, you know, just uh, money to spend on, on whatever. Um, not that I'm poor, it's just that there's, you know, you have to prioritize. So I haven't gotten too much, but I've gotten some pretty good stuff, I think. It's just three records. Um, I'll start with the old, the two oldest first. Um, the first one is um, Rites of Spring. They're um, only uh, full length. I think they released an EP as well, but um, this is the only full length. Um, this is a reprint. I'm not exactly sure uh, when this came out. Um, it's on Discord. Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure when it came out, uh, when the reprint came out. I know that the album I think, itself came out, I think, in, uh, in 85. Um, it was their only album. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm not really into 80s hardcore, but um, I, I'm not that I would say that uh, that Rites of Spring is hardcore. But um, a, a lot of people say they're like the first emo band. Um, but this, this album is absolutely phenomenal. Um, it's it's very 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 good. Um, I actually came across it. I was going I was going through some lists off. Uh, I, I'm not a huge fan of the website, but um, it's good for just finding stuff to listen to. Um, I, I was on a Pitchfork and uh, they had their top I think 100 or 200 songs of the 1980s, um, or no, uh, top 100 albums. I'm sorry of, of the 1980s. And uh, this was on there. It was pretty late. I would say it was in like the 80s or so. Um, but this is on there, so I checked them out on uh, Spotify, which I usually do before I buy a record. Um, I very, very rarely, especially for, you know, normal priced albums, I never really rarely, uh, or very, very rarely just blind buy something. If it's by a band I am looking forward to and it's a brand new release, then yeah, sure, I'll do it. But um, usually uh, I'm not much of a ch uh, risk taker when it comes to um, buying, you know, regularly priced full-length LPs. So I checked it out on on, uh, on Spotify, loved it. And I got, actually got this off of, of Best Buy, which actually has pretty good stuff. Um, it's not a place I think most people think to look, but they have uh, a pretty wide selection. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, only on BestBuy.com, not in, in stores. I don't think they sell anything in store. But yeah, so this was pretty, this was pretty awesome. Um, really like it, uh, and I'm glad I have it. I mean, obviously, it's, you know, I guess you prefer to have the, the first pressing, but, I mean, I, I think that's probably, um, I haven't looked, but, uh, I just went with this. I'm not really much of a collector, I guess, so that kind of stuff doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, next up is Churches. This is, uh, the Bones of What You Believe. Uh, sorry if that's loud. The subway is right outside my window. Um. This was this was probably one of my most anticipated albums of 2013. Uh, started at first heard churches. I heard um, the mother we share probably late 2012, and uh, then they released uh, a few others. Uh, there was um, Recover, and I think the other single was uh, Done. And it's it's pretty. It's pretty great. Uh, I, I'm not huge into electro pop or whatever. I mean, there's a few like synth pop bands that I'm into, but um, this is, I mean, this is obviously synth as well, but it's way more on the pop side. It's a female singer. They're from Glasgow, uh, but it's it's pretty it's pretty great, um, and um, I think it's just on regular black vinyl. Uh, I'm not sure, but let me check. But yeah, this is definitely, I, I recommend this, um, yeah, just regular, regular black. Um, definitely, I recommend this to really anybody. I mean, it, like I said, it's, it's really on the pop side for me, um, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not saying I, I don't like any pop. But uh, definitely, uh, you know, you sh this, uh, the other band that I think is a lot like this that I'm really into is um, Purity Ring. Um, they had an album come out, I want to say, I think it was I think it was 2012 that I have. It was it's pretty great. Um, this is along the same lines. It's kind of uh, and they have a female singer as well. So really along the same lines. Um, but I've seen plenty of people in the VC pick this up, and uh, it's it's very good. 
uh, last but not least, I picked up a boxer by the National. I picked this up on uh, Friday, actually. Um, I got out of work early. Uh, I work in uh, New York City, and uh, I took a trip to Brooklyn because I live in Queens, but I'm right um, just north. I'm about seven or eight minutes north of, of, um, of Greenpoint, Brooklyn, which is which has actually pretty good uh, record stores right in the, the Greenpoint, Williamsburg area. Um, there's uh, where I got this. This was uh, Captured Tracks. This, the shop is called, that's actually a label. Um, but they open up their own store in uh, in Greenpoint. There's Co-op 87 uh, in uh, Greenpoint. Then there's Academy Records, I think is closer to Williamsburg. So there's uh, plenty of, of options there, which is which is always good. Um, but this one, I was I had a few stuff in my hands, and like I said, I, I don't have much of a uh, not again not that I'm poor, but um, you yeah, know we all have to prior prioritize. So. Um, I picked this up, it was either this or I was going to go with, which I kind of now looking at, that'll probably be the next thing I buy, um, well, they had the first Neutral Milk Hotel album, I have uh, Aeroplane to see, but I had that, I mean it was a re it, it's a reprint in the store, but I don't really, I don't, like I said, I don't really mind, but uh, anyway, so back on track, um, I, I, I really, really, really love this album, um, I think it came out in 2007, um, this was the first national album I'd ever heard. Um, second I owned, I actually have um, the one that came out earlier this year. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm drawing a blank on the name. But yeah, I'm completely drawing a blank on the name. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, the, uh, this has uh, Fake Empire, Mistake of Strangers, Squalor Victoria. Uh, really good stuff, uh, really just nice and, and mellow to, to listen to. Um, you know, after uh, after you work all day, so it was good. Um, so yeah, I picked this up, and um, definitely looking to pick up more national uh, stuff. They had a, the, the shop had I think one or two other um, albums or EPs by them. So it's definitely uh, stuff I'm gonna have to keep checking out. And uh, that's it. I, I somehow spoke for seven and a half minutes uh, about three albums. Um, so thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, let me know what you think of what I bought in the comments below, and I'll, uh, any recommendations are always welcome. Thanks a lot.